of the beer laws we had in Mississippi that were restricting our access to a lot of these high-end gourmet beers. Um, so we all got together and we all brought beer that, you know, wasn't common in this area and sampled those beers and we talked about those beers. But I really dig beer people. They're the best people in the world. I moved here in 96, you know, and, and we've had just an explosion of, like, real local cultural things. But this is something that we did that in this little way made Mrs. made my home a better place to live and have a business and prosper. To help bring craft beer into the forefront um, of craft beer geeks. Everybody is good for business, it's good for individuals. You raise revenue for the state without raising taxes. It's great. Especially those who, who are new to beer and, and you know, or maybe uh, not very experienced, they get to come here and they get to try things from all over the world and all over the country. And we have These aren't the type of people that want to come to a club and get drunk. These are the type of people that want to sample something that can be made in the state now. I'm all in. I mean, I, I've talked about this stuff. I can preach it. I can do it. I'm all in. Let's do this. We really need something like Raise Your Pints to bring craft beer drinkers together and have kind of an umbrella for everybody to be to be spoken for, you know, that, you know, beer is something that brings people together, and I feel like it's a really good thing for, for Mississippi generally, you know, um, to kind of get on this wave, economic and, 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 and social, and, uh, and get, you know, more into I think beer. Mississippi in general is a place that shows promise. Now the hills and the hollows round here still swallow me every morning in a hole. I hide from the sunshine, making that moonshine turning yellow corn to gold.